During World War II, four future CIA directors served as operatives for the Office of Strategic Services. The spy agency, a prominent New York Republican lawyer named William Wild Bill Donovan, had organized for Franklin Roosevelt. These four were among the Central Intelligence Agency's most controversial directors. Alan Dulles slipped into Switzerland in November 1942. He organized what amounted to a mini CIA in that neutral country. He developed lines to the dissident German officers who tried to assassinate Adolf Hitler on July 20th, 1944, the Valkyrie plot. Colby's team parachuted into France's Burgundy region, southeast of Paris. Their mission, organized French guerrillas to attack the Nazis, was risky and complicated. After the Jedburgh operation, Colby led a ski team that dropped into German-occupied Norway. Their mission, cripple a railroad line moving Wehrmacht troops. For his heroism, Colby was awarded the Silver Star. When he learned that FDR had a secret spy organization being run by Donovan, Bill Casey, who had just been commissioned in the Navy, pulled every string he could to join the new outfit. Donovan soon noticed this energetic junior lieutenant who seemed to be involved in practically every espionage operation the station ran in Europe. Impressed, Donovan in December 1944 made Casey, who was only 31 at the time, chief of secret intelligence for all of Europe. At first, Lieutenant Junior Grade Richard Helms wanted no part of any cloak and dagger skullduggery. But the OSS wanted an officer from the Navy who spoke French and German and who had worked in Europe as a reporter. An IBM computer at the Sea Service spit out Helms' name. He was transferred to Donovan's agency.